What's up everybody, James Harris here with Think Real Estate. And we're in the Cove today. We're gonna to show you a really cute house, two bedroom, two bathroom, about 850 square feet. And it's really a cute, cute house on a corner lot. And we can't wait to show you what the inside looks like. So come on in. Welcome inside the house. So first thing you notice whenever you walk in is that there's hardwood floors all the way through, well, most of the house other than the bathrooms. Um, it's really, really cool. It's original and it just looks nice and almost a little bit rustic, but also is a nice gloss and sheen on it. And then you also have plenty of room for just the way this room is laid out. Yeah, you could have your TV here, you could have it on the mantle over the fireplace, but really this whole space right here, there's plenty of room for a, a very big couch. You can even extend it even further this way. Um, and then it's got a gas fireplace, which is really awesome. You can cook that thing up and warm up the room and it's a really nice addition. Even if you don't use it, it looks really, really cool in this room. So uh, we're gonna walk to the bonus room. Right off of the living space, you've got this hallway that goes to the master bedroom. There's a closet here um, and then here's the bonus room. And so they're using it as kind of like an office space slash art room and uh, she likes to paint. So she has a nice easel here by the, by the window. And uh, this is where she does all of her all of her artwork you see throughout the house. If you come see it, yeah, there's plenty of room here for for a, a twin size bed, something for a kid, something for uh, guests. There's a closet right here with plenty of space in that. And so, yeah, this could be an easy office bonus guest room, baby room. I mean, possibilities for this room are are a lot. So, and here is the main bathroom. There's two bathrooms. But this is the big one. It's a nice tiled shower. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like six, six four, and so there's there's space here, and it's nice and deep, and so you don't have to worry about being all cramped in here. It's got a nice mirrored vanity, so there's some storage in there. Um, there's also cabinet space um, in there for um, for any of your toiletries or stuff like that that you don't want to keep in the bathroom, you can keep them in there. We're gonna to head to the master bedroom though. And so this is, I mean, they've got a nice size bed here and there's still plenty of room for the dog bed. And uh, and yeah, I mean, big room. This is the biggest, the biggest bedroom overall. This is, um, this is a really nice, especially if you're, if you're looking for like a more entry house, something something you're starting a family or something for your parents or something like that. This is really the perfect amount of space. So we're gonna head that way to the second bathroom. And the second bathroom is a little bit quirky and I love it. And the reason is, it's because it's also the laundry room. So they've got their they've got their washer and dryer here, all their laundry fix-ins. I mean, there's even space in here for vacuum cleaner and all their stuff. And then on this side of the room is the bathroom. You've got a vanity with a mirror. You've got a toilet with plenty of room around it. You're not crammed in here. And this is a full walk-in shower. I mean, it is about the same size as the other one, except for instead of tiled, it's an insert and it's got a little bench on it. It's really, really cute uh, and plenty of space. I mean, um, for a house this size to have two really good sized bathrooms in is uh, is really, really good and convenient for entertaining when you have guests over so they're not in your bathroom. They have a place that they can go off to, I guess, deep of the, of the living room is the dining room. And so they've got enough space here to fit a nice four top, um, a little coffee bar here, um, got a nice vinyl top. Plenty of space for dog food and, and food bowls and stuff like that. There's nice big windows in here and all the windows are new so you get a lot of natural light in there. And This would be a really nice place to spend uh, your mornings getting some coffee, eating some cereal. And now we're going to head into the kitchen. And I know what you're thinking, James, this kitchen is a little bit small. Yeah, the house is 853 square foot, but that's kind of the thing is you're, you're buying a nice sized house that's convenient for maintaining, for keeping clean. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not this big, huge space that you have to worry about all these different things. I mean, while also having everything that you need, there's, 
right here, there's this whole shelf all the way to the floor full of, full of anything that you need to put there. There's all this storage down here. There's storage here. There's storage there. There's all this floating space for any kind of jars like they have their sprinkle dash pinch and all their cornmeal and sugar and marshmallows and and then you've got your microwave, your refrigerator here, and then right here you've got a gas range so you, with four tops. So you've got really everything that you could possibly need, yes, in a more compact uh, form, but really, I, when I walk in here, I don't think, okay, well, I wish I had this, or I wish I had that. It's, it's really, this is the perfect amount of room and the perfect amount of space, and, and I love it. I actually, I've, I love cooking with gas, and the fact that it's a gas stove top is beautiful. Um, so we're gonna head to the backyard now. Now right off of the kitchen, you've got your exit door to the backyard. And personally, this is my favorite part of the whole house. There is a ton of entertaining space. You've got plenty of coverage for, I mean, hot days in the summer, like right now. There's tons of tree coverage, which is crazy after Hurricane Michael to have so many trees in your backyard. Um, and then just all this deck space. You've got plenty of seating space for family, friends, hanging out at night. You've got all these lights strung about. And so at night, it's a really, really cool place to hang out. Even in the, in the, in the summer right now, not that sweaty. It's actually pretty cool back here because of all the coverage. So big backyard. And right at the back end of the lot, you've got I mean, this really big shed and covered carport and plenty of uh, parking space off to the side of the lot. I mean, this, this lot has a lot to offer just in the fact that it's a corner lot. There's a lot more accessibility to the back side of it. You've got all these bushes off to the side that, that when they're in season, they all bloom just beautiful pink and purple flowers. And so this is a really cool, fun space to entertain and relax after a long day of work or in the morning with a cup of coffee. This is really the space that I'd find myself in the most. So that's 347 North MacArthur Avenue. Again, this is a beautiful house. It doesn't matter what phase of life you're in. This really appeals to a lot of people. Uh, the location is amazing. You're really just a rock throw away from, I literally probably a two minute bike ride away from some of the best food in Bay County things to do, sights to see, all kinds of events that they have downtown, and you're living in the cove. This is such a beautiful area. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful house, beautiful back porch. What else could you really ask for, honestly? So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or want to see the house in person, please reach out to me. All my contact info will be below, and I'd love to hear from you. So uh, reach out, and we'll be talking to you hopefully soon. Thanks for joining.